Hey guys, how you all doing? I hear that Overwatch 2 is quite a popular game, so I thought why not give it a go and get it working? The good news is that Overwatch 2 will work on the Steam Deck and Linux desktops, but there is a bit of a setup involved right now because it's such a big update. Now for this, I'm going to be using the Bottles app, which you can install in Discover. You can also try Lutris, but I found Lutris repeatedly didn't work in gaming mode, whereas Bottles seems perfect every time. So once you've got Bottles installed, you'll need to let it do its initial setup. After that's done, you can create a new bottle, make sure you've clicked it for gaming, name it whatever you want. Obviously, I'm going to speed up a lot of the loading and downloads, otherwise we'll be here a while. Now once you've set up your bottle, we're going to save our eyes and we're going to switch it into dark mode. And then we're going to download the CAF runner, which should work well with Overwatch 2. Once that is downloaded, you can go into the new bottle we created, into the preferences and scroll down to where it says system runner and change the runner to CAF that we just downloaded. Now into the installers menu and just click the download button on Battle.net, wait a while and follow the usual in steps to install an app and wait until it's done. This bit is all pretty self-explanatory. You are just reading and clicking buttons to install Battle.net, then log in and download Overwatch 2. That's basically all you need to do on the initial setup there. Now Bottles does have a option to automatically create a shortcut in Steam, but that didn't actually work for me, so I just manually added Bottles as a non-Steam game, and from there it just works fine. Now once it is fully installed, you can go back into gaming mode, into your library, into the non-Steam menu where you find the bottle shortcut to load it up. Now to use the mouse, you can just hold down the Steam button and move either the thumb pad or the right thumbstick, and then the right trigger as a mouse button, just so that you can load into Battle.net and then load into Overwatch and you don't have to mess with Steam input, just keep it as a gamepad. Now the biggest issue with Overwatch 2, the biggest nuisance here is performance. And I'm not going to lie to you, the game will stutter like absolute crap for the first few times because it has a huge amount of shaders it needs to build a cache for. And this can take quite a long time too. So you might want to run around in the practice modes for a good while, do a little bit of the, the arcade, just do anything that isn't ranked so that you don't annoy everyone whilst you're building up the shaders. But honestly, like I said, I'm not going to lie to you, it takes a long time to build up the shaders in this game easily an hour plus for nearly everything to actually be smooth. Now I tried putting mine into low settings and to match the Steam Deck screen resolution, but the menu in-game seems to just reset on every launch, so I'm not entirely clear if the graphics settings are even working correctly or what it's even at right now, because it just seems to reset itself. Regardless though, eventually it will become smooth, you just have to give it time to so be patient. This is an unfortunate drawback of developers not supporting the Linux and Steam Deck directly. Eventually though, of course, it smoothens out, as I said, but it needs to build up that cache for all the heroes, all their effects, the maps, and so on. Every time it sees something new, it will need to then build it up, so it will stutter every time it sees something new. Now, I know that I'm not very good at this game. This is not a video to showcase any kind of test of skill. All I wanted to do was just to show you that it does work on Steam Deck, how you can actually set it up easily, and then just a little bit of the gameplay so you can just see how actually smooth it is on deck. So I'm going to leave you with just a little bit of gameplay now. Let me know what you think about everything in the comments as usual, and I'll see you again soon.
Consume you! 